too mad to grieve. Which... Mm. Happy music! Okay, now we have proper music again. Bloody Baron doesn't care. Even though she was a Slytherin. How'd they get bins out of his classroom? Please tell me these two aren't going to be the ones that I have to spend time with all the time now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Cedric, you're just ruining everything. Don't turn it into a competition, Marula. It's the last thing I need you to be doing right now is pulling out your attitude. Poor writing. She deserves so much better. She was a better character than that.
Is this why Rowan never showed up? Because they always knew they were going to kill her. All those time-limited side quests when she didn't show up. The whole time, she was just an expendable character. Good to know. Now watch them make friggin' Marula our best friend. Can you get me those riders? Just put them in front of me for a few seconds. Won't take long. I should really turn this music off. <laughs> what about a desire to learn about all the dark arts? Well, maybe that one is wrong. Yes, I remember. I was annoyed. Yep. Oh, look how that worked out, Autumn! Can you stop being so stupid? You know you're talking to one of the absolute idiots who wandered into the Forbidden Forest completely unprepared? Honestly, the three of us should have died. I'm not gonna blame you, Penny. Admit, I honestly wasn't expecting them to kill someone off. But yeah, definitely couldn't predict that. That came out of literal nowhere. This is what happens when you don't involve your friends, Autumn. <laughs> of course she'd want to help. We were both share it, but apparently we both share a brain cell and we had both lost it at that time. Probably were. Which Admittedly, wasn't much. Ugh, why would she do that? That's just dumb. So, Penny was apparently wrong for telling Rowan everything, but we're supposed to be wrong for n treating Beatrice like a kid and not telling her everything. Make that make sense. What? One of Autumn's friend doing friends doing things behind her back the way Autumn does things behind her friends' backs? Maybe this can be a lesson to Autumn about her toxic behavior. What do you want to bet it won't be, though? I thought everyone knew about it. Talbot certainly knows about it because he was helping us find the feathers. Um, doesn't Tulip know about it because similar reasons? Um, who else? Tonks? I'm pretty sure she knows about it. Wow. 
Wow, Autumn. Being much more intelligent than Autumn, Rowan would have been a useful asset had Autumn chosen to actually utilize her. How do you know? Well, I was secretly following Rowan from a distance. Ah. had the right idea. Be cautious and hide. <laughs> I highly doubt that, Penny. It's okay. The plot would have dragged her from her bed and thrown her in front of Ben. I blame the writers. Totally avoidable. But I mean, she's honestly the one who set off the curse that killed her. You know what else Rowan might have been able to do? Throw a curse at Rake Pick while she wasn't paying attention. So many opportunities. Well, you shouldn't have told Rowan anything, but you should always tell me everything. That sounds like a double standard. No, it's not, because I'm the main character. I don't think anyone really cared about Rowan. <laughs> Not the writers, certainly. Pretty sure Autumn just disregarded her. <laughs> For our first few days here. After that, not really. It's been more like Autumn and Penny, and Autumn and Marula, sometimes Autumn and Barnaby, and more recently Autumn and Ben. But it has not been Autumn and Rowan for a very long time. This would have hit harder had they actually let her be the best friend who showed up and did stuff. get to go immediately. Oh, for sure there'd be a break. Fitting that this happened during Halloween.
Is that a pumpkin? Yes, Autumn. I know because I always just left her there all the time. Where is her body, by the way? Wow. <laughs> um, that calm admonishment and please from Snape hit harder than Rowan's death. <laughs> it was written better. After all that. Which one? The Mahotokoro wizard or Rake Pick? You can now leave this castle. No one wants to leave though. Oh well, that was far more effective than giving you guys rules not to leave. <laughs> Juice potion. Damn. That was a more of an emotional hammer than anything. I'm ditching school! Yeah, wait, that's what we were trying to prevent you from doing earlier. Yeah, whoops. You don't! We can go to the side of her death. Autumn, what? Wh what do you mean? Don't we all have to hang around with the main character? all the time you could have been spending with Rowan but didn't. Or all of my friends. I don't know if any of you actually have any friends other than Autumn. of not spending time with Rowan. It might be nice to actually acknowledge that she exists, even if it is only posthumously.
No, it's okay, I'm cool. Yes, I saw things. <laughs> yeah, but you're a jerk, so no one cares. Ha! You got a point there, Marula. Feel free to not participate. Good. What we definitely need right now is your toxic attitude. Though I suppose that's her way of calling for help. But we seriously need to get her a therapist. I'm toying with the idea of doing, like, changing the name to Rowan and doing it and playing through the game as though Autumn lost her own life due to her own poor choices. And Rowan, while well, she managed to save Ben, despite her best efforts, could not save her best friend and is now living on attempting to... They wouldn't let me do any iteration of Kana with Rowan, so <laughs> that's the closest we can get. So I guess we're just going to pretend that says Autumn. Cool. Ah. Still getting ambushed by pop-ups. Go away. memory of how Autumn was my waitress once or twice. Bye. Celebration of life is acceptable. Or whatever the heck Marula is doing. Well, usually there's more alcohol in the drinks, but yes. realization that her toughness is an act. Ah, okay. Better than what are you? These are the faces they make. These are the expressions. Ro uh, Marula, it's not their fault. It's the limited animations. Maybe she's talking about that weird lock on the front of her head. She's just dyeing her hair.
What do you intend to do, Marula? Complain and then sulk around the castle pretending that you're getting ready to get revenge again? I'm sure next time will be just as successful as this last time. Surprisingly, no. Okay. Off screen, I suppose. Actually, I said that you could leave. Why are you here? Please leave. No, I want to complain! Okay, fine. Bye! No, you say exactly what should have been said. <laughs> You're being generous. Oh, I thought she was just gonna go upstairs and be by herself. Maybe this can be seen as Rowan's attempt to basically fill Autumn's place, which will be the start of her descent into, men, uh, into feelings of extreme inadequacy and complete instability and fear. <laughs> You see, if we did, if, if I were the one who had died, we'd be sharing memories of, well, you wouldn't have many memories, would you? Yeah, just you studying, exactly. But since Autumn's the one who died, we have all kinds of memories. There's this one time she did something stupid. What time? What time specifically? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Well, Autumn would always listen to him talk about dragons. I think Autumn was actually, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the, um, the, the, well, I guess there were a couple dances. No one knows Rowan. Uh, exactly! I'm trying to think of the last time I spent time with Autumn, because she just really wasn't wanting to spend time with me lately. Ouch. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a time for me to vent, too. I could see Autumn doing that. Autumn always struck me as a bed of molder smoldering coals, ready to leap up into an all-consuming flame at the slightest provocation, but then immediately go back down again. She was kind of unstable. Ah, oh, crap! Who's gonna take care of Fuzzclaw? I don't actually read, but Autumn was always willing to eat all my candy in History of Magic class. Autumn would do this weird thing where she'd do something really dumb and then complain about it a bunch. For like days on end. And then even many episodes later, she'd still complain about it. Autumn and I were technically dating, but neither of us ever actually acted like it. She also wasn't very good at reading instructions. I think she would just panic and then use all her um, magic, her spell cards without thinking, and that would usually end in disaster.
Autumn was a good friend for the first year. Then after that, she kind of forgot I existed and then got mad at me for trying to insert myself back into her life. But most of our memories with her are fond. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, uh, now that Autumn's dead, who's going to be solving all our problems for us? Well, oh, crap, I'm depressed again. Huh? At least it's not Marula and Ben. She was my best friend, but wouldn't act like it. So I guess she wasn't really my best friend at all. <laughs> wow. Where Autumn was okay kicking me out? No. Weren't you guys, like, roommates? Yeah, that makes it even worse. Oh. Listen, don't ever let Marula's behavior dictate what you decide to do or not do. <laughs> just, just pretend, just pretend. Last time I spent with Autumn was in detention. So, you know, not everyone has heartwarming memories. Well, Autumn was, and you were daring to get involved like a friend would do that sort of thing. So wait a second, Autumn was very willing to involve all her friends when it came to her needing something. Like, I need you guys to do something for me so that I can get something that I can use. But when it came to telling them the whole story, no, you can just... It's safer if you're in ignorance. Newsflash, it isn't. So, um, had I said no, would Rowan still go? Would Rowan have been like, actually, I'm still going. Okay. I assaulted Autumn. What? It's okay. I just, I just used a spell. What? No, it's okay. I just, just picked up some No, no, I, I swear I'm getting to the good part. <laughs> this does sound like how Rowan would tell a story. <laughs> the more the plot changes, the more it stays the same. Kind of weird, Rowan. No, really, it, it made sense at the time, maybe. <laughs> this is the best. <sighs> well, I'm so glad that awkwardly written conversation turned out to be your best memory with your dead friend, Rowan. Ugh. 
Unless you forget. Ugh. Guys, I think we're saying the wrong things to make Rowan feel better. No, it seemed pretty significant to me. So if um, we hadn't brought Rowan, would we be sitting here all sad that we never talked to Rowan? <laughs> Why? Well, I don't want to see her. I want to see you. So let's talk to you, buddy. Though I don't know why. An alternative interpretation, now that I think about it, is that this is that Rowan did die. This is actually Autumn. But she was just so overcome with sorrow and guilt for getting Rowan, for either getting Rowan killed or just not spending time with her when she had the chance, that she went crazy, wishing that she had died instead. And now she believes that did happen and that she is Rowan and has taken on that identity. Whichever you prefer. Wasn't Marilla just like, it doesn't matter what you say, but apparently he wasn't talking, except that he is right now. Is therapy your style? No. Well, it should be! I mean, it really needs to be. They really need to have some sort of professional help option available for these children who have just witnessed a murder of another child. Learning the killing curse, is that it? Yeah, I have yet to see you do so, even when you had break pick right in front of you in the forest you know the killing curse you say and yet you never cast it on her never even attempted at any point oh yeah I leveled up let me guess your plan is revenge yep so nothing's changed we should have just had this happen in the vaults uh, the previous vault, because it's just... <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> it's a good question, because the latter is almost always the case. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm willing to let both of them be, honestly. <laughs> I don't think she has anyone or anything that she cares about besides herself, so I think she already did that part for you. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Stop trying to turn it around on me, Marula. It's not the point. Oh, that's so stupid, though. <sighs> I thought you weren't talking. Back off. Okay. I didn't ask. I don't care. Again? Are you going to get even worse now? By learning about it, Dingus. <laughs> Wait, I'm not quite sure where your logic is going here. How does that help? You still know nothing. Please don't tell me that now I have to be extra good friends with Marula and Ben because we're going to be in a super secret, secret organization. 